Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Tim here with Fit Chicken, and this is Lexi. And we're going to taste <laughs> the kombucha. So let's do it. So today is day number seven. We made this uh, Tuesday night last week, and I dropped these scobies in before I left for work on Wednesday. Tonight. Cool down. So um, we're going to try this. This is just standard. Um, one gallon of black tea, a cup of sugar, and two scobies, which eventually be broken off um, when we get that other jar. Maybe we right. can kind of break it off and take one out, whatever. So, um, before we do the taste test, which I know is what you all want to see, we got this sweet container that uh, I will put in the link below. Um, it's a one gallon glass container with a spigot, and you bought this spigot separately. Correct? Yeah, it's a stainless steel spigot that I bought separate just because. You know, it comes with an awful flimsy little... Right, like plastic one. We've had bad luck with plastic spigots yeah. in the past. So um, I'll put this stuff in the description below. Um, we'll, I don't know what it costs. What do it cost? 13 something, but I think the spigot was like 10 something. Okay, so it's so. like $23, but you get yeah, a... Yeah, 25 bucks a, probably. Stainless steel? Yeah. So you get a nice stainless steel spigot for 10 extra dollars, which you might as well do um, because if you're doing, if you're getting it for kombucha making, then you need metal, um, a metal spigot anyways, other than plastic, because plastic is bad for kombucha. So, um, any like flavoring ideas that you planned on going with in here? I was just trying to think about what we have in the house right now. Maybe some apple juice and some ginger. That'd be cool. Uh, we can take that, because the next step for us, uh, we've been saving apple cores and we're gonna do apple cider vinegar. Right. Right, so that should be fun. Um, so, this will be ginger and apple. We'll see how it tastes, right? Yep. So, uh, this thing has definitely been fermenting. You could smell it. Oh, yeah. Uh, not right now, you can't smell it, but I'm sure. Well, and the color's changed. The color's changed, it's cleared up. And I did show, uh, up a little. I took some clips that I will show right here. <laughs> uh, and some close-ups of the SCOBY, which I'll show right here. Um, so yeah, let's open it up, kind of see what's going on. One scoby is literally taken over the top. Check that out, that's crazy. That's what they do. Sealed it off. That's what they do. Um, so we got two straws. Would you like purple or yellow? Your head is totally getting cut off right now. Sorry. <laughs> um, so do you want to taste first or do you want me to taste first? It doesn't matter. Oh, well, or we could do one, two, three. Okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely like a nice... Yeah, like sealed off. Yeah, it's sealed off pretty good. Good. You know you have to take your finger off of there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just check it. Like so. Cheers, kombucha. <laughs> wow. That's really good. Yeah. It already has like an apple taste to it. Did you yeah, get like that? Yeah, like a cider. Yeah, it's like uh, like an apple. Maybe just some ginger. You see, then. there's actually some um, natural carbonation happening. Yeah. Already without anything oh, crazy. You, you, I didn't. You put your mouth. I didn't put my mouth on it. Oh, okay, I did. <laughs> yeah, that tastes like uh, just a little bit. Like a carbonated apple kind cider. of sour apple cider. Yeah, that was uh, that's. You know, I was kind of hesitant on this, uh, how it was going to taste, <laughs> but seven days seems like it's it's sweet. It's not too vinegary. It's still a little sweet, yeah. There's still some vinegar in there. I could yeah. drink this straight right now, realistically. Yeah, it's good. Um, so, yeah, uh, we have two SCOBYs in here. The next time it would just be one, right? That's the plan. Yeah. We'll start building a second one going on. Um, we're going to try and do this in our weekly routine. Um, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and just slightly cover this back. Ew, this smells fermented. You wanna smell it? Smell it. it. Smells like, yeah. Yeah, it smells like fermentation. Like vinegar? Yeah. Your favorite thing ever. I hate the smell of vinegar. That's um, why I wanted to see you taste this, because it smelled so much like vinegar. Yeah, it actually didn't taste, I mean, there was just a slight vinegar background, but nothing crazy. Um, what would you say the temperature is down here? 68? 67? Yeah, probably close like to So it's probably fermented less. around 67, 68 degrees. Um, 
Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this transferred into the secondary container. Um, pour the uh, other kombucha in tomorrow. I guess we'll kind of do that tomorrow, but um, and we'll show from here on out will be us adding the fruit and the stuff to get this ready for um, it's going to secondary with some apples and stuff. Some right. apple juice. Or yeah. ginger, I guess, is what you said. Yeah, definitely ginger will be plenty. All right, so thanks, guys, as always, for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if uh, so far you're changing your interest into in kombucha, into kombucha. I don't know. I'm really excited with uh, the way this is going. It tasted awesome. So uh, let us know if you're maybe going to attempt kombucha. I know some of you already said you do. Um, and as always, kombucha on, baby!